Hello, it's Ed Zoller, Teachers Can Buy Homes, Villa Realty Group, with your Fun Day Monday uh, video reveal of the winner. Uh, thank you so much for everyone for responding to it. It's my little bit of fun I get to have every single month, but I also take this time before we get to the results uh, to talk about something that hap is happening to me personally at my house and something that I think that I might want to share with you uh, that might be happening at your house as well. I want to talk about hot water heaters. Um, mine failed. And I realized this over the course of time in that my hot water was running out. I blamed my wife and daughters for taking too long of a shower, but our hot water just never really got that hot. Uh, our uh, hot water heater is in the garage. It was tucked back behind my beer fridge, uh, so I never got to really see the front of it. I want to show you uh, a picture of my hot water heater that shows you what I would have seen if it wasn't buried. You see that streak coming down from that element? That's because that element failed and it started leaking. This hot water here is only four years old. One of the Whirlpool ones I got from Lowe's when my other one died after 12, 13 years. So this is why you probably don't want to get a cheap hot water heater at Lowe's. You probably want to get something like an A.O. Smith or something uh, better. But if you see any of this by your either top or bottom elements, and you see this little bit of drip of rust, or if you see any rust on the bottom of it, I'm going to put it back around here. Uh, that means it's failing, and uh, that's uh, not a good thing. Um, if it fails on one end of it, it might blow, it might leak, and if it leaks, there's water all over the place. If it ever busts a seal, uh, you're going to have 50 gallons of water and a continuous flow of water streaming outside your garage. Uh, could actually uh, devastate your what the things that are in your garage as well as the drywall behind it, and then you have the mold issues, and this can just... Hot water heater is about four to five hundred dollars professionally installed. Um, I have plumbers that I just brought on board. A plumber who did this one for me, really reasonable. So if anyone has any questions about that, or if you see that your hot water heater just isn't working up to standard, uh, it's one of the easiest and cheapest things you can do to your house and to protect your house as well. So let's get on with the results of the Monday Monday. So I'm gonna turn the camera back around here and get off of this. Uh, sorry. Okay, so. What I did was I came up with a random generator again and rolled these three numbers. Let's get off of that. And that designated to, in order of the first person all the way down, uh, my four winners. So let's go on over to the winners of the trivia question. And we have Amanda O'Keefe, Jeremy Wessergreen, Chris Ingram and Caitlin Christopher. You guys are my finalist for my Fun Day Monday. I'm going to take my chip. Oh, something else I have to do here. I have to roll an eight sided die. And it rolled the four. So I'm going to count one, two, three, four, and make sure you guys can see all of this. Here we go. I'm Ed O'Keefe. You are my winner of my Fun Day Monday. You are going to get a, back around here, a $25 gift card to Amazon. I'm going to send it to your email right away. Thank you so much for everyone for playing. Look out for Fun Day Monday on the first Monday of every month. And even if uh, you have someone that wants to play along as well, feel free to forward that original email to them. The more, the better. Um, but uh, thank you all. You're going to get a newsletter um, probably on the 10th or 11th into your mailbox. I'll address some other things that are going on as well uh, in my uh, news of the month. Uh, but usually I try to keep those newsletters not about real estate. Uh, if anyone has any questions about anything involving anything, you can always feel free to give me a call. Miss all you guys. Love you all. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.